Hello, my dear students, I welcome you all to your history online class. So, in today's class, we will be dealing with your European history with chapter 11 talking about Renaissance in Europe. So, this is a chapter where we need to get a lot of idea regarding in the European nation, especially from Italy, Spain, Portugal, and many various parts of the European nations, what kind of revert or what kind of new ways of ideology on the topic of arts, literature, painting, science, engineering, astronomy, all these topics where lots of contributor has given the utmost efforts as well as contribution in making the European history with this topic known as Renaissance with lots of good effort. So without wasting, let's start the class. So first topic is talking about what is exactly Renaissance. So Renaissance is exactly the revert or revival of learning fine arts, literature, where lots of dramas, poems, lots of paintings, people can get ideas. So even through those kinds of painting or any such kind of dramas, poem, how the poets and the painter, they would deliver a proper idea what they wanted to convey through those kinds of fine painting or books. So based on that we see that actually the Renaissance took place from the 16th century in a European country called Italy with the capital Rome at present. So how Italy has got a major significance over the Renaissance with lots of arts, literature, painting and various other topic where people could get lots of knowledges, lots of ideas they could grab from those kinds of efforts done by those kinds of uh, like a contributor or painter during those 16th to 17th century. Apart from this we get to see that what was exactly the impact on arts, literature as well as the science. That means through these three topics arts, literature and science how the contributor has given their utmost importance with certain kinds of achievement with certain kind of success through works that they have ever produced during those time. So in this topic we will discuss mainly with three great innovator contributor who has given their efforts during 16th to 17th century and they were first talking about Leonard de Vinci followed by William Shakespeare and third talking about Nicholas Copernicus. So first we will see the contribution of Leonard de Vinci. So Leonard de Vinci whose birth year and death year we can see 1452 to 1519 C. So within this period what kind of contribution he has given. So even Leonard de Vinci is considered to be one of the great artistic geniuses of the Renaissance period. Why? Because of his efforts, because of his contribution, because of the work that he has delivered in Italy under the Europe countries with certain kinds of achievement and success. So first we see with the contribution that he was a painter, not only painter, he was also a great educational on the topic of science and towards the fields of engineering. So how Leonardo da Vinci worked as a great painter and how he has delivered a lot of certain kinds of soft topics with the proper knowledge so that every citizen of those respective nations would know what was he wanting to convey as a message what he wanted to tell. So we see under the painting topic that how he has painted one of the famous the world has ever seen known as the painting of Mona Lisa which was done in oil painting. So different kinds of paintings resemble. So that was Mona Lisa with the oil painting followed by the Last Supper which was water painting in a format with a great innovative with the creation that he made and the people would admire the painting that was kept in different exhibitions of this Mona Lisa as well as the Last Supper. Next we focus that under the topic science even he has explained the circulation of blood. We all know blood is very essential for every human being because without blood how the life would be. 
suffering from lots of diseases lots of problems would really matter and based on that the blood circulation and how what are exactly the tissues even tissues he has been he has studied as well same time later on he has explained regarding what are exactly the tissues major minor and so on and the next dramatist or the poet of the european country we call it as william shakespeare because william shakespeare is very much familiar with everyone who whose birth year we can see the 1564 till the death year 1616 so after he gained education and became one of the great leader at the same time how he is considered to be one of the greatest poet as well as the dramatist of the european renaissance period what kind of achievement or what kind of role or effort he has done with lots of especially talking about 150 sonnets with lots of dramas poems works and especially the famous work or the dramas from where he gained lot of popularity was romeo and juliet a love story drama where we completely see a great tragedy is at the same time great kind of concluding part that he has made in this drama that is romeo and juliet apart from that also he has written a uh, volumes of dramas like if you talk about the tragedies like macbeth merchant of venice apart from that also we get to see lots of dramas like twelfth night king lear uh, julius caesar at the same time talking about this othello or macbeth so all the works as a drama with the volumes of sonnets and all he has gained lots of popularity and he is considered to be one of the great dramatist of european renaissance period at the same time he was also a great poet next and the last topic over this impact on art literature and science will focus on nicolas copernicus i think you are very much familiar with the word nicolas copernicus because you get to see this name in your geography textbook where nicolas copernicus has explained regarding the earth sun heavenly bodies solar system heliocentric theory and various other effort and which was been admired by the european countries citizens during those era so if we see about the nicolas copernicus we see the year of birth 1473 to 1543 so within this time period he also has given his efforts his contribution over especially the solar system and the heavenly bodies and even one more thing that nicolas copernicus is considered to be the father father of modern astronomy so he has got lots of efforts on astro astronomy topic and he is considered to be the first european scientist of the renaissance period so here we see that what kind of work he has mainly focused on the revolution the heavenly spheres that means talking about the solar system how not the earth but the sun that remains in the center and all the planets they revolve around the sun that was been given the idea by this great astronomer known as nicolas copernicus and even he has explained over the heliocentric theory about the sun who stays in the on a particular place and all the eight at present we call it eight solar uh, planets who rotates or revolves around the sun so that are a kind of idea that kind of new kinds of ways how to prove it that was also given by this astronomer known as nicolas copernicus so this was overall the topic with sub topics that very much essential for your board examinations talking about the european history with chapter 11 that is renaissance in europe i hope you have understood the topic about the art literature painting and the three leaders contribution their efforts what they wanted to convey through either painting through arts through dramas through books or any such kind of heavenly bodies till then stay safe keep studying and god bless